DeRay, Cornel Brooks has called this uh, an act of racial terrorism. Is it a relief, finally, to hear someone describe what happened here as that? It's always important when people tell the truth. And the reality is that he walked into that church to kill people because they were black. And he was really clear about that. So it's important that the NAACP said that. That was true. Um, Jeb Bush, presidential candidate, has come out and said he can't understand why this young man did that. Is there a danger that the political dialogue around this is already being shifted away to the idea that he was somehow irresponsible or can't be believed in terms of his apparently proclaimed aims? Yeah, what's most interesting about this is that the shooter himself has even said that this was racially motivated. Um, so there is deep denial that continues to happen. And Jeb Bush is a is a key proponent of this denial that will not acknowledge the rooted racism in this country and its impact, which is what we just saw when he when Dylan uh, Roof killed the nine people. I, when we talk about that rooted racism, I mean, Confederate, the Confederate flag, uh, you can see it in places in South Carolina, in the South. It has a prominent role in the, in the state capital. What should happen to the Confederate flag? And the flag should be removed. The flag is a celebration of a history of hatred in America that has no place here if we consider this to be a place that is a democracy. And remember that, that Dylan's acts are empowered by many things, including a flag that is clearly a symbol of hate. It's empowered by a careless officer like Slager, who was a town over, who killed. So these acts are empowered by many symbols. So what do you want your people, to, the people who follow you, the people who are part of the Black Lives Matter movement, what do you want them to do? Should they be, I mean, on Twitter they're talking about burning Confederate flags. Is that a progressive way to react? So one of the most important things that we can all do is continue to tell the truth about what's happening in America around racial injustice, right? So um, there are so many people who still will not tell the truth about, like, this was racially coded. This is a hate crime and an act of terrorism. And people need to be... Uh, uh, in people need to be strong in that resolve to tell the truth and then people need to take the flag down right wherever it is they need to fight that symbol of hatred that is so potent in places like this should the president be here he spoke very strongly yesterday in reaction to this mainly focusing on guns and the free availability of guns in america but should he be here is that important i think the president has a role to play and he played that by using the bully pulpit to highlight the injustice and the racially uh, coded hatred that we saw on display here in charleston i i, I don't think his presence is necessary right now here in charleston uh, i spoke uh, to an older woman last night and i said to her um you know, what was your reaction when you heard what had happened in the shootings and she said in the church and she said, here we go again. Is, is this has this never gone away in the South or is this the old South returning or is it something new? Yeah, so we are watching the history that we were told didn't exist. We're watching it happen in real time now. So, you know, we've been telling the truth about racism our entire lives. The only thing that's different now is that it's becoming mainstream, that more people are interested in seeing the plight of what it means to be black in America um, and are actually focused on uprooting the deep racism.